Okay, so we're going to play some more uh, Donkey Kong 64, and we will try to avoid the PBSD. <laughs> Post-banana stress disorder. A uh, Kong documentary. No, I haven't seen that. Is that the one where they talk about the arcade game? Like, big cheater, bitch asshole man, Billy Mitchell? Is, is that the one, or am I like, is that another documentary? Hang on, here we go. Gotta, gotta get this. There we go, and open. Only no gang. Okay. Okay. Oh. We do not want to hear the rap. So last time we did the absolute hellish thing that was the beaver mini game. But it's done now and it was the last one and it was the hardest one, so hopefully we are good now. Monster Sings Music, your beloved. It's so good. Oh, why is this guy, like, lurking? Would you rather play a guitar on an island or in hell? What? Of course on an island. I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> the Kong documentary is a meme documentary made by Panuts. that talks about the lore of Donkey Kong, including the supposed Great Ape War. <laughs> okay, I see, I see. It's like a, like a meme. Can you speak up? You can't hear me because your laptop is screaming. <laughs> Joke, but barely. Oh my god! Have I been doing the collectathon? Yeah, I've been collecting everything. And... Uh, this is the last full world. So I think we're actually doing pretty good here. Yeah, pretty good. We're missing one banana fairy. I was supposed to come in here as DK. So let's do that next. Dingus. Collect the taxes. Collect the tondos. All right, I think there was a barrel up here. <coughs> Yo, why is Chunky so slow? He's slower than usual. <laughs> Sorry, playing this game just calls for the noises again. I won't turn the kazoo into a regular thing because I understand how annoying it is. But every now and then I got a blast. <laughs> Creepy kazoo is inter interesting because it has yet another stop and swap unused spot where the museum room is in this level. Oh yeah, that was one of the cartridge things, I'm pretty sure. Beating it today. Like that's ever gonna happen. Oh, <laughs> New point redeem sound imitation mode. <laughs> According to a German manual, Tiny Kong manages taxes. What the hell? So, can I do this now? I remember when I entered this place the first time, people were telling me, like, you can't do this yet. But can I do it now? Oh, I guess I gotta um, use the zoom. 
Ryuzum. Okay. Here we go. So, this is the only puzzle that actually requires you to use the sniper, I guess. Oh my god, <laughs> the water level is rising. We don't talk about what the hell happened to Tiny Kong in <laughs> Diddy Kong Racing Diaz. She's no longer tiny, she's like tall Kong. They stretched her, yeah. <laughs> According to a rare staff member, Wrinkly Kong is in hell. But you don't know if the tweet was a joke or not. <laughs> Bro. Has Ramani done the mechanical big fish golden banana? You mean in the water world? Yes, I've gotten everything so far. This is the last world that I, ha that I have to, like, complete. Alright, door- What the hell was that sound? What the hell is exploding? Alright, Donald Nogger. It's time to keep looking for more resin. Always look for more resin. I guess I'm gonna start by going this way. See what I can find. In Donkey Kong 64, the zoom actually makes the fish mission almost impossible. What? What do you mean? Also, you don't have to zoom. It's optional. Did I do this place? Hang on. Do I plan on playing Princess Peach Showtime? Funny thing, you should mention that actually, because it arrives today. But I won't be streaming it, at least not at launch. I'm gonna be playing it with Pep. But maybe, maybe next year I will stream it. Yeah, did I do all of this stuff over here? Like, there's the nuts, and... Let's see what else. These. Let's uh, double check. You must have exceptional patience to 100% this game. Honestly, it's not that bad. People make it out to be far worse than it actually is. Oh yeah, I, I did this place, I remember. People gotta let go of the gamer grind set and just enjoy the ride. Oh my god, I gotta be able to 100% this game in two days, otherwise I will shit diarrhea bricks. You know, you gotta get rid of that mindset. Just take it easy. For more absurd trivia and absurd information surrounding the Kongs, you suggest I take a look at a video made by YouTuber called Carlito. <laughs> okay. Carlito. You love how pathetic rareware makes the skeleton enemies look. Romani all scringly boss fights. <laughs> all damage run. <laughs> All of the damage. Raymond Redemption. All true bosses run. All damage. <gasps> I, I feel like there's something on top of this house, but I don't know what. Okay, I think I got everything in here. Let's uh, move on. Your room smells like dust and chemicals. <laughs> Stop farting in there. Mm. 
Oh my god, DK! Your BZ is dust free now for the most part. Hell yeah! Oh yeah, we had the Diddy! Diddy ding! Diddy diddums! Daddy diddums! Get hit by every attack exactly once. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the run. <laughs> Princess Beast. <laughs> Princess. <laughs> I, I laughed at the fucking falling animation, but also Princess Beast. Yeah, Princess Peach boss is uh, antagonist is basically Mr. Dark. Oh, sorry, Miss Dark. It's Mr. Dark after her transition. <laughs> Princess Beast. We need crunts for funny monkey game. Grant Kirkhope. Leave it to me. Yo, I would like to grunt like Grant Kirkhope. Actually, I can already do that, so... And all that shit. Proud of Mr. Beast's transition. <laughs> Princess Beast! Oh god. Alright, best music time. Well, hey! Alright, so what else? I feel like uh, there would be a lot. Okay. Oh my god, okay, they, these guys are gonna be like everywhere. <laughs> Oh my god, can't talk with that in my mouth. <coughs> You balloon! Yeah, <laughs> delicious lag. I love lagging. Oh, lagging. You're probably gonna undust your PC too, it's been a bit louder. I undust and clean my PC once every two months. It's a good schedule. I have it marked in the calendar. Let me just go around. I want to see... There's anything else left for flying didems. Snort the PC just to clean it faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, dust, my favorite. No, my nose is in fire. On fire, flames. No, what the fuck? <laughs> Someone should undust and clean your brain every two months. <laughs> All right, just as I was about to get to the top, let's go back down. 
I do want to check out that one Diddy, Diddy Gong room though. Was it before or after the museum? I think it was after the ballroom. Yeah, here it is. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, did this. Well, we have the barrel over here, though. Right? Where is it? Oh! Diddy is tearing apart. Extra dimensional Diddy. Where the fuck am I now? Where's that bloody barrel? Oh, it's this place. Come on, Diddy, don't fall. <gasps> Fuck. Get up, Diddy! Get to the ladder! Here we go. This where the barrel is? Yes, alright. Some more of these crystal nuts, whatever they're called. And we go up, 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 up! As long as it's not the fucking beaver panic. Welcome to bonus stage. Big bush bash. Big bug bash. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay. This should be easy. Probably not, but... Uh, I actually remember the first. You can, like, spawn kill them if you're... Uh, good enough. The fucking laugh. <laughs> yeah, that's the spawn kill tactic right there at the end. Bog. Oh, my arms are like crunching. What the hell? Oh, banana. All right. I guess the last banana is in the ballroom for Diddy. Diddy's last nainer. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. Then we can just fall down. <laughs> Now, where was the ballroom? Okay, that's DK. Whoa, what the hell? My monitor just like exploded for a bit. I don't know if the microphone picked it up, but there was like a... <laughs> Library? No. Not that. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Ballroom! Yeah, these are the crystal coconuts. 
You like it when your screens go Nice camera. Bro, let me move! <laughs> Yo, now this is some Castle, Egg Castle Eggman type shit right here. Are we gonna play chess? What the, what the fuck? Tiny. Maybe we're gonna find a banana fairy in here. Yo, what the fuck is this music? So... Hang on, hang on. There must be something to do here for Diddy. Let's kill all the enemies and see if that has any effect. Ah, here we go. What do you think that people now talk more about Mr. Dark but less about Razor Bear than Andre? I don't think I agree with that. I see just as much fandom discuss on over Razor Bear and Andre as Mr. Dark. Actually, I think Mr. Dark receives less discussion. Bana. Because he's based. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Dark is very based. That's Diddy's final balloonus! And that's his final banana! Maybe. Hopefully. Was it? Oh, ten more. Okay, maybe there's another one. In this room. There's a whole ass fucking chandelier up here. Okay, so Diddy is missing ten bananas. Let's get in here. Let's do Dimension Redemption again in his rabbits video. I saw that! Oh no, it's this! Nah, no, it's good, it's good. I know how, how this works. I know how this works. Oh. <laughs> I got it. Bonus stage. Minecraft mayhem. Need the monkey noises this game uses in the music.
Diddy, why did you go in there? No! Welcome to bonus stage. Minecraft mayhem. I can't believe they added rocket jumping into Minecraft. Hello, people. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Let me stretch and take the drink. Ah, boy, do I love water. Welcome to bonus day. When I was playing the Beaver Panic mini game, it felt like it took me like half an hour. But when I watched back on the bot, it took me. Over an hour, like an hour and a half. So it was pretty disastrous. Were you just talking about the Minecraft update? Yes, I can't believe they added rocket jumping into Minecraft. Press the button. I didn't press the button. Did he just decided to go in on their own? Welcome Did you see the new command day. lines? No, I didn't. Did they add like new commands? Like dash fart. And it plays a server wide. Uh... <laughs> Didi has had enough. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, did us dos Unos dos tres did he Welcome to bonus day. We're gonna be here for the entire stream, you do realize that guys. This is gonna be my, 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 my mayhem again. Beaver mayhem. So you can eat any item and assign any value to it, like saturation or hunger, and if it grants you an effect, that's amazing. They made it so you can craft any item with any recipe you can think of, and you can raise stacks up to 99 or decrease it to 1. That's fucking amazing! That's fucking amazing! Nibale 2 with uh, stacks of 99 items. Just see with your third eye. Let me open my third eye.
Okay, thanks for the tip. I didn't know all I had to do was open my third eye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Quit monkeying around! I cannot believe it. Okay, now we just need 10 more bananas or didis. Your floor is so clean now. What do you, what do you like, licked it clean? Like, first you snort the dust and then you lick the floor. You've been so productive today. Hell yeah, I love cleaning. Cleaning makes me feel good and it makes the room look good. I love cleaning and organizing items whenever possible. Sniffles. Ah! Oh! Cheers to cleaning. It makes good. How about I lick these nuts? Okay, well, now that we're here, let's take a look inside. I'm pretty sure I did everything in here, though. <gasps> let's double check. Yeah, we already got the candy upgrade to... Update, we balance board is getting picked up on Sunday. <laughs> Bole, bole. <laughs> yes, finally, Nebula butt stream. After all these years, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did everything in here already, but double check. Yeah, that's the room we did. That. Did you write the minecart? Yes, I did. Bole, bole. Seems that Raymond 3 playlist missed the second word. Oh, did it? Hang on, let me, let me, let me check. That's the elevator music. Uh, I'm here on YouTube. Let me see. Episode 2. Oh yeah, it's not in the playlist. Let me add it. Thank you for letting me know. There we go. Has been fixed. You had to send a YouTube a video of your face to restore functions to your short channel. Did they respond yet? Did it work? I'm turning into a rareware character. <laughs> Not yet. Fingers crossed it works. Fingers crossed it works. You opened the trailer for a game and you didn't realize it was me playing the kazoo. And you thought to yourself, wow, what, what a bold choice for music! <laughs> I keep reaching for the Kazu, but I don't want to play it too much. I don't want to be annoying. Any more than I already am. Alright, so that's a lanky door. I think the DK door was over here somewhere. <laughs> Realistic moon.
Will this be the last Donong Gong stream? Probably not, let's be honest here. Oh, that oh, okay, I see. This level reminds me of Lemmings 3D. Because Lemmings 3D had a lot of those like castle stages and the graphics remind me of that. And the floating wooden platforms and whatnot. Oh, it would be if it wasn't for Beaver Hell. <laughs> I think that Wallace and Gromit are still stuck up there. What do you mean? Lemmings 3D platformer? <gasps> the Adventures of Lomax 3D! Oh, that would be great. Though I don't really care for Lomax as a character and a setting, I would rather take something original. On the moon. No, they're not stuck on the moon. They got out of the moon. <laughs> That was a lie. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> they show it in the episode. They get out of the moon. New lemmings hero, Lemus. Lemus. Is this a freaking bookcase maze? So that was a dead end. <laughs> wow, your color there. That's all for, for the dong. The first show, they get out of the moon and leave the vending machine. <laughs> Skiing on the moon. They added that ending to not scare kids! <laughs> okay, mister. Okay, mister. Alright, that's that. Let's do the lanky room. For real though, for a Lemmings 3D platformer, you would take from Lemmings 2 and make it so each tribe has its own hero. Each area having its own levels and unique themed puzzle based on the tribe. At the end, we have an epic everyone is here moment. Yes. Actually use pre-established Lemmings lore. I, I'd like that. Let's get Lanky Boy. Lanky Boy! My name is J.W. Pepper. Now I'm gonna show you where the cupboard stands, Langy boy. Oh! Oh, look at that. Is there something else down there? Oh, 
Oh, oh, excuse me. Uh, is this the one we did already? I think we did this already, right? It's the one where I couldn't, like, get up and I had to inflate. Yeah, we did this, alright. Does Lanky normally T-Pose slam a button? <laughs> T-Pose slam. <laughs> That is uh, very tea posse. That was the first beaver room. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Alright, then there was a room for Chunky. Let's do that next. Room for Chungus. Chungusi. <laughs> Sorry, I have some like cum on my eye. I was talking about Epic Mickey with some of my buddies recently. And, uh, you know, oh, the original concept art came up again. You know, everyone knows the story regarding concept art now. But uh, it's still good. On its own, the original, like, super weird, edgy, dark concept art, it's, it's really fucking good. And I would absolutely love a mascot platformer that goes, like, really fucking disturbing and weird. You know, we have those, like, Bendy and the shit machines and, like, poppies, poop time and whatnot. And they try to be scary. Oh, they try to be so scary and spooky. But they fucking aren't. I want a mascot platformer that really fucking gets disturbing. A la the Epic Mickey concept art. Because the weird amalgamation creatures with those friendly Disney character faces, those are scary. Some of the concept art pieces are genuinely pretty disturbing. I understand people don't do it because they want money and mascot platformers only work if they have colorful, you know, characters and you can make figurines out of them and whatnot. But like some developer who doesn't care about that should just do a fucking crazy ass disturbing fucking mascot platformer. Sorry, mascot, what am I talking? Mascot horror. Have I been saying mascot platformer all this time? I mean mascot horror. Just fucking insane. Body horror and like everything. The worst part is that it's characters you know too. Exactly, that's the extra spice to it. A mascot horror couldn't capture that, because you can't use pre-established characters. But yeah, I I'd still want something like that. There's a bunch of indie games that do the cute game is secretly creepy. Yeah, but none of them push, push the limits. None of them make it... fucking... Disgusting and disturbing. They always tread the line and remain respectful in a sense. Not saying, holy fuck, that scared me. <laughs> holy fuck, that scared me. Hang on, let me let me just save this image. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Double conk. Oh my god, triple conk. What's the worst horror game I've ever played? Hmm. Silent Hill 2. I still taste orange juice in some of my nightmares. And they aren't scary nightmares.
Um, you were joking, because that's what Pibi was trying to do. What's Pibi? It would play the animation every time you step out. this like, oh, banana! I guess we gotta carry a stone here or something. People were making fun of Mutant y Yosemite Sam with Spider-Gun arm. I, I have no idea what these characters are. Pibi and Yosemite Sam. Wasn't that a Jack and Daxter thing? Yosemite. Wait, hang on. What's going on here? Do I gotta shatter the glass? Let's try that actually. Is Looney Tunes not a thing up there? Oh, it is. I just never cared about Looney Tunes. There we go. I remember watching one short of Marvin the Martian as a kid. Where they're like running around in space and there's like floating red passageways and whatnot, but that's about it. Oh yeah, and I like big chungas. Pfft. Wait, what the hell is going on here? That's clearly a tiny teleporter and another one, but... Didn't Chunky Kong have like an ability where you can like leave your body or something? If I leave Chunky Kong's body here and leave like move as a ghost, maybe I can get that. But I don't know how to activate it. Learning with PB on Adult Swim was trying to do basically that, what you're describing, but was never greenlit despite being popular at first. Ah, okay, interesting. It's like an Adult Swim's jokes trailer showing a character glitching and other stuff. You remember when every fucking YouTuber said it's gonna be like... Out as five seasons. Guess... <laughs> it's never... It, it never... Guess it never happened. Can anyone like uh, edge me into the right direction here? Like... Can I do anything here yet or... Uh, do I gotta do something else first? No. <laughs> well, fuck you guys. <laughs> oh, there we go. I had to push this in. Oh no, my worst enemy. The boulder! Oh, it worked. Holy fuck. Alright, still not everything for Chunky. Whoa, Chunky, calm down. Let's see, were there any more doors we gotta enter? Safe state. Good idea. Just in case, if we like crash. There we go. Oh, I'm uh, thirsty. I ate some weird ass kebab before I started streaming. Hmm. 
salty meat wrap. Yeah. Big meat wrapped in more meat. Okay, that's a lanky thing. Did we do that yet? Uh, I guess we're gonna find out. I, I do remember ending that, <laughs> entering that silo as tiny. Yeah, because of the disappearing boulders. What the hell is Bro doing? <laughs> that one frame of uh, Lanky falling. Get inside that banana, you freak! Boom. Boom. Okay, I don't think I did this yet. <laughs> I like how you can see it's completely empty. Hey, what the fuck? Well, let's use the ultimate maze tactic. Probably won't have enough time if I do it this way, but at least I can get the bananas. Oh, I like that uh, thunder sound for some reason. Sounds very, very nostalgic. It's like a stock thunder sound. Oh, shit! Oh my god, like he got sniped! Oh, we're good. This is like a freaking spooky Ray mansion maze right here. Where's out? Oh my god! Get out! I'm trying, bro. I'm really trying. Get out. The camera keeps switching place. Okay, there we go, there we go. Yeah, this time I'll get it. Just go back in. There's also a speed barrel on the left, so let me actually take that and see if there's any items. <laughs> Who is even sniping you? <laughs> yeah. It's a good question. Holy fuck. Fast fuck. Oh my god, I'm getting stuck. Stuck on the walls! Dong Donkey Kong. Saw style trap. But oh, all right, let's go kill. At least I'm lanky. This should be easy as Lanko. Oh 
<laughs> oh my god, it's so loud! Master Strat right here. <laughs> you really wish we had. You know what? We really. You re uh, Sorry, sorry. Focusing. Uh oh. No, I'm, I'm gonna read it after this. You know what you really wish we had? All the original Donkey Kong Country models. You don't care how old and crusty they are. They're so damn charming. Like, I would love if those were dumped online. The original fucking... Whatever the PC they used to make them models. I would love to have them. That's kind of what happened with the original worms, I remember. You know, original Worms had like pre-rendered uh, cutscenes. And some guy just found the PC that was used to develop the Worms. And it had the source files. And through trials and tribulations they were able to modernize them. I mean like, get them running on modern devices and like modern Blender and all that. And uh, it was really cool. So how do you get in here? Do I gotta like, whack this as uh, chunky or something? They found them? Yes, there was a video about it. Hang on, let me see if I can quickly find it and link it. It was really, really cool. Um, uh, what was the channel? It was like... Um, original Worms Models Found. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, those are not the worms I'm thinking of. YouTube search sucks so much these days. What, like, why is it recommending me absolute bonkers bullshit? Ew, I don't know what the fuck that was, but I, I'm not... Okay, don't put worms into YouTube search, no matter what you do. It was a YouTuber who made a lot of videos about PCs. And, fuck, what was their name? I gotta find them now. It was like I'm not uh, I'm not uh, subbed to them anymore. It was like some nerd, something nerd, nostalgia nerd. Yes, it was nostalgia nerd. Okay. Hang Hello, on. welcome. Shut, to shut up! Hang on. Let me see if I can find it from their channel. Uh, uh, uh. Did you get the Ribbon Worm video? I don't know. I didn't look at the name. I just looked at the thumbnail briefly and that made me disgust. Disgust. Hang on, let me scroll this channel for a bit. Maybe I can find the video. It was just something pink and there were like black dots. I, I don't know, I looked at it very briefly. Maybe it wasn't this guy because I can't find it from their channel anymore. Hmm. But then I just don't remember what the video was called. Hang on, this is bothering me now. Uh, Worms PC original models. Intro models. Ah, oh, here it is. Yeah, 
know you had a clearer picture, but it's... Oh, it was a nostalgia nerd. It was someone else who just kind of looked like him. Okay, wait. I think it was this. Yeah, okay, I got my YouTubers mixed up. It was Retro Recipes, not Nostalgia Nerd. It's this one, if you're interested. From four years ago. And they made a separate video, like, where they re-rendered the old ones in HD. There we go. <laughs> this is all my fault. It's fine, it's fine. It's an interesting topic. Yeah, retro recipe. I think there was some drama about Nostalgia Dirt. I don't fucking keep up with the YouTuber drama, but retro recipe has a nice ASMR voice. <laughs> Alright, how do I enter this uh, door over here? Does anyone know? Okay, that's uh, Didi over there. So where's that room for Tiny? This is chunky. Use Lanky's Wonder Worm. That just sounds like an euphemism for his big cock. Hey guys, you wanna see my Wonder Worm? And everyone's like, no, oh my god, Lanky, no, not again. Oh my fucking, no, put it away, Lanky. Oh, fucking hell, Lanky. No one asked for this. Use Lanky's arms to create a key shape and force the door open! That's incredibly funny. Well, I guess we're going down now. <laughs> Ramani Kong. Running out of places to check. Hmm. Did I do the one over here for tiny? Like, where are these tiny teleport pads even located? The cannon lanky voice right there. Oh, who is stretching? Oh, this is the moaning music again. Oh. 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 music. Oh. Yeah, I think we did this already. This is familiar. Yeah, and here's the gap, and here's the button and the hands that go up and down. Yes, we did this already. <laughs> that must be Kirkrope. Just moaning. <laughs> Am I dying yet? <laughs> not yet, not yet, because... We'll be finishing it tonight, this game. Oh, and that's... okay. So... What places haven't I checked yet? Oh. Oh. Sorry, so much moaning. He's doing the... The cure for the poison is in the container that can only be accessed by beating Donkey Kong 64 quickly challenge. <laughs> I guess you could say that. <laughs> he had a fun recording session for sure. Kirko was like stretching his British sausage in the booth. Real life is kind of like Donkey Kong 64! There are apes, and you collect a lot of coins to survive the capitalistic hellscape we live in. <laughs> yes. It's funny because it's true. Ow! Butt sliding in the sewer. 
Wait, there's two doors here. Did we do both of them? We did to this this place. Remember this? Well, what was that other door? Oh wait, that that's just where Candy was. I remember now. Imagine if you had that one virus that makes you get the high score in Tuhu to unlock your files on your file support machine. Oh, that wasn't where Candy is. Okay, let me take another look. I would fucking do that. I've never played a Tuhu game before. But if I had that, like, ransomware that's like, you have to beat Tuhu to get your files back, I would fucking do that. Or die trying. <laughs> This is where Disgraced Kong was executed? Who the fuck is Disgraced Kong? <laughs> Thank you, Kang Poking. To who more like a doo doo? Ay, 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 ay! Did you know Korkope admitted that one of Mama's voice lines in Banjo Kazooie is him saying, Oh, my knackers. <laughs> I don't remember who Mamo from Oh Mambo. I don't yeah, okay, Mambo. <laughs> That's funny. Oh me knuckles. Why did I just hear the splat like echo in the distance? That was scary. Don't forget two is common hand or go if you think you're hard enough. What? Who said that? Bro, get up! Actually can't get out of the water. All right, where does this take me? Frankie's lab. But there was no door for a Tiny Kong, right? So that's what's uh, puzzling me here. Like, where do I find those tiny teleport pads? Where games are 80% innuendos. Grant says that in the Mayhem Temple team in Bonjo <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, this this is sus. This stone right here is like sus. Oh, never mind. There's more of them. It's not sus. Stone, you didn't make it. What? A lower body man is bugging him. Okay, let me try entering the trash can again. I, I, we did that already, though. It's it's not worth it. Sus. Bug. Bug. I'm gonna. Oh my god. Watch out, this guy is gonna. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm busting. <laughs> Ray is YouTube pooping himself again. Just pooping. Can't believe Ray didn't understand a YouTube poop classic. Oh. <laughs> You should know by now that I don't know any references. Like, if you if you expect me to know something, just uh, default to expecting me to not know it. 
Kill each poo pig. Good thing you found a magic balloon. Good. Places to check. <laughs> he turned himself into an old man. Oh. There's YouTube pooping and Twitch streaming. <laughs> Urinary problem. <laughs> My cock twitches when I pee. Oh, fuck. That would be hell. <laughs> Let's go back to the beginning. One, two, three, tears are now P. <gasps> Let's see if there's anything for Tiny in here. You had to wrestle your donger every time you want to pee, like those firefighting videos. <laughs> those firefighting videos! Okay, does anyone know where the tiny teleport pads are? I'm gonna ask the chat before I google it for myself, if anyone happens to know. This is actually where old people live when they retire. Yeah, everybody comes to this spooky castle place. I don't remember the name of this world. There's a teleport pad in the museum? Yeah, but you can only enter the place as Chunky. Or wait. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. You can, oh, okay, wait, wait. Oh no, you open the door as the character and then enter as Tiny. Hang on, hang on. Let's do the Diddy door first. So, Diddy time, Diddy's door is where? Diddy's door is number four. No way, dude, Rai Toast is streaming at the same time as you are. Who is the real Rai? Who was Rai? No, wait, wait. It was the, the FNAF dude, right? Uh, Colonel, who's the real right host? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, that's why they give you the barrel here, so you can swap the tiny. Yeah, Colonel, I got jam in my pants. You're surprised that the tools to make ROM hacks for Donkey Kong 64 haven't really been doing a lot of progress. You guess Mario 64 is more interesting? I guess, yeah, I guess the fandom is just more focused on Mario 64. And Panja Kazooie. Panja Kazooie has a shit ton of ROM hacks. Firefighters wrestling their huge hoses. I read it as horses at first. Let me take a quick look. What is this music? <laughs> Me peeing. Pfft. It's difficult for a fireman to stably. Wait. It's difficult for a fireman to stably hold the hose, which has pretty high water pressure. Thanks, CGTR, whatever that is. Super water sunshine. Oh, now we're inside the mirror. This is funny. <laughs> Final banana fairy. Why is there a tiny house in here? What? Okay, let's do this thing first. Factory map. What? We're in here now? Hey, Tiny. It's me again. I managed to get hold of another banana, but if you can beat me in another tulip race and get 10 coins, it's all yours. Okay, let's do this. Whoa, 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 the revving. Okay, watch out for the, the things. Did it come racing music? I think it would be real funny if a character entered a transformation battle, but it instead blew up and they died. <laughs> All right, let me do that again. I know what uh, what to expect this time.
bro is fighting his host behind me. like grunts music but a lot of it sounds very similar that's my main problem with grunts music it's all the same track sob it's no fair you can't have beat me and got enough coins i suppose you'll be wanting my only possession now so why was this in the fucking factory level <laughs> racing mini games fucking suck i agree Grant is nice, but you feel like Wise is way more varied and versatile. Absolutely. Way fucking more. We're comparing the best of the best in the industry to the worst of the worst. I'm too mean. I'm too mean. Grant Kirk Hope's music really isn't the worst of the worst, but it really isn't to my liking. I feel like he had more variety back in the day, but nowadays he opts to use the same instruments, the same HD instruments on every track he makes. No matter of the game, it's all the same. Oh, this is the scrapped stop and swap room. So I can't do anything here with this, right? This is it. How do I feel about Yoko Shimamura then? I don't know who that is. <laughs> The pillar was supposed to have a big Donkey Kong statue. So this is like the ice key. I can't do anything with this. That's Tiny Kong done! Alright, let's see. Okay, Lanky is done. Diddy is missing then. Okay, so Diddy and Chunky are missing. I guess a balloon. Let's get hunting! People often say a lot of her tracks sound the same, but she's incredibly well liked. Uh, what did uh, she compose? Maybe I know some of her work. Mario RPG, Mario and Luigi, and Kingdom Hearts. Out of those three, I've only really heard Kingdom Hearts music, and I like it, yeah. At least the first one, I haven't heard the others, but I... Since I played Kingdom Hearts 1 as a kid, a little bit, and I didn't understand what was going on, but there's that one battle music that has stuck... It has been stuck in my head for my entire life, straight up. Every now and then it comes out of the blue and just I, I just like hum it, and there was a... <gasps> there was a time in my life where I didn't know where that music was from, and I was always like, What is this track? What is this track? Then one, one year I realized it's from Kingdom Hearts. Goodbye, Tidy Kong. Your usefulness is gone. Alright, now we gotta find the final balloons. One for Chunky, one for Didums. Just a goofy dying Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I don't think he dies, dies. So I have a feeling the last balloon is somewhere just randomly. We gotta fly. To get it for Diddy. Then I have no idea where the chunky balloon would be. Chunky is also missing a golden banana! Where? Okay, let's focus on Diddy first. Chunky is always the last fall guy. And 
no, this is searching for a needle in a haystack. We're gonna be here for three streams. searching the banana in a needle stack. The Nintendo shit you! I have a feeling maybe there's something up on this giant tree. Please? No. Oh well, let's keep looking. The balloon gotta be somewhere. You've been quoting shit goo for two hours now while cleaning. ADHD moment. <laughs> At least you're doing something that the shit goo guy could never do. Clean. Hello there, welcome, welcome. We're trying to find Diddy Kong's last banana. I have a feeling it's a balloon, but I have no idea where it is. It could be inside. Heck, if I know where it is. Maybe it's right up his butt. Oh! Balloon, 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 wonder what balloon is about. And this trash would look like a chocolate chip cookie. Balan wonder what might be awful, but you love the way the bosses look visually. Balan isn't even that awful, and the visual style and designs of that game is one of its strongest like things. I really love how that game looks. All right, I'm going to guess it is inside because I can't find this balloon anywhere. Balloon? Let's check out this place first. Have you tried shooting the moon? Don't know if it's a solution, but it would be funny. <laughs> Sure, I can try it. It's hilarious how this is the only Donkey Kong 64 reference we got in Smash. The jetpack barrels. Oh yes, I didn't even realize that. Of course, now that I played 64 I understand it's a reference, but... I never knew, like, what is wrong. Beep. 
Chunky stink room. Chunky stank room. Oh yeah, the peanut guns too. You slept for like 10 hours last night and didn't feel sleepy at work. Huge win. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I did do this room already, but what if I forgot a balloon or something? There's a Lanky Kong trophy also. Looks like Smash gave Donkey Kong 64 more credit than uh, we thought. Wait, did I do that wrong? Oh, this is the moaning room. Oh. What the fuck? I legit have no idea what I did different this time the last time, but I'll take it. It's the last thing I need. So wait, maybe... Maybe, maybe, maybe the other chunky room also has the missing things. Because I remember the... I remember the coffin in the middle exploded and nothing else. Well, I'm happy with that. <laughs> the ghost! Ooh. Yeah, fuck you, Chunky. Always the fall guy. Chunky. Chunky's always the last for some reason. <laughs> the crossed corruptions. Yeah, these guys are trying to escape this reality. Don't worry about it. We will keep them in check. I'd like to point out that from the Kong's perspective, these apes just went through corridors made out of actual bones. <laughs> yeah. Are these the last bananas in the game? I think I still have some left in the overworld, but... Hmm... I did do this. Well, let's double check. Chunky just like destroying gravestones and whatnot. And then this one in the middle was just. <laughs> and that's that. Alright, I'm gonna look it up. What's this world called? Creepy Castle, Donkey Kong 64, Creepy Castle, Chunky Kong, Bananas, DK64, Creepy Castle, Chunky Kong, Bananas. Inside the old tree, by the castle entrance, Chunky can primate punch the wall, I did that. Chunky must enter the catacombs and take the path to the right. He must then shoot the pineapple switch to open the door with large coughing. Turn right and follow the right wall to the first coffin. After promet punching the coffin door, Chunky should enter and jump into a bonus barrel. 
Okay, we did that one. Chunky must primate punch the door on the wooden shack next to the greenhouse. I fucking knew it. That's it. That was the sus... Let's go get it. The sus store I was looking at. Let's go sus the door up. <laughs> Amogus! Sus Arus. Let's hope the last bananas are also in this place. Music reminds you of the horrors of a haunted house. What's that? Alright, here I come! Knock knock! Oh, you mean the song in this game. Okay, these bats are just disappearing. <gasps> there it is! Yes! 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 Oh! No, what, what do I do with this? Ok. Apparently you can't kill these bats. Oh, yes you can. But they disappeared. Bro, this is insane. So, hang on. <laughs> so I gotta kill them while I'm when I'm invisible. But also, when I'm invisible, they can hurt me. This makes no sense. This is fucking broken. <laughs> and when, uh, when I'm visible again, they disappear. Yes. Sometimes the freaking like tasks you gotta do in this game are so weird. That's it! Creepy castles done! Let me double check. Yep. That's Baba Booey right there. Oh, banana! <laughs> Only 13 bananas left. <laughs> Alright, now I guess... Oh wait, boss! The boss, 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 boss! I forgot. Boss, 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 boss.
We're gonna fight the bussy. Where's the closest boss door? I think there was one in here. Your whole body is itching, you're sniffling because of the dust. Take a shower. <laughs> Love allergies. I'm also allergic to dust, like room dust, whatever it's called. Alright, let's feed the pigs! For the last time, goddamn! Then I never have to see these yokalele as rancid fuck characters ever again. <clears throat> this is not King K. Rool right yet, right? This is not the final boss. King K. Rool comes after this, I'm pretty sure. The disgusting munching fucking sound. Oh! This is the weirdest fucking like boss unlock door ever. Why couldn't they just make a big fat ape? That's like, sorry donkey, I can't let you through unless you feed me. Why does it have to be like a hippo and a pig? Oh, I'm not gonna question it. This is the last time we have to ever see these guys ever again. Who is it for? DK? Oh, Lanky! Yes! A hippo and a pig with nipple rings. <laughs> the Langster. Time to unleash the... The funny wheelie. Ah! I like how the boss room starts lagging when it opens up. Alright, let's see what repurposed boss it's this time. Are they building something? Aha, I see, it's King K. Rool. <laughs> Alright. What the hell? Spiral lasers. Nice screams. Oh, I love that laser sound effect. That's also used in Spyro 3. 
<laughs> get his ass. There is no ass to be get gotted here. It's just plastic. I mean wood. Oh, nice. Oh, looks like Lanky is a goner. Bro, what? What? Why did I lose Tiny? Bro was right there. <laughs> Just went right through him. Also, hello there. Welcome. Look at this, I'm gonna go through again. This music is Grant Kirkhope at his Kirkhopest. <laughs> I.E. bad? No, I'm kidding. This is actually a pretty good boss music, at least at one part. <laughs> you! Through him again! What the fuck? I'm not gonna risk it. This part. Uh, okay. I like the idea you're like wasting the cons. That somehow makes this feel like a Sonic boss. Finally. They're like lives but worse. <laughs> no, it's it's cool. Oh, I see why I was going through them, because there's multiple. There's fake ones. Yeah, okay. Okay, Diddy. Show me what you got. Nice. So wait, hang on. Oh my god, we gotta like aim. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. I like the screams when it attacks. Okay, I will try. Never mind. Okay, at least now I know what to do. What the fuck? Why am I here? Okay. Now we gotta find the gate again. Oh my god. For a moment there I had a thought that I gotta go to the Poké Center and heal my Kongs. <laughs> this ain't that kind of game. Do I gotta be Lanky to enter those? Let's keep Lanky. Oh!
They're gone! So if you die and return, the ugly fucking hippo and pig are gone. Gone forever. They got turned into meat. Hippo burger. The hippo is good though? No, 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 no. Hippo and pig are both disgusting cretins that must be eradicated. Your dad would eat them. <laughs> Bro sounds like Cuphead. Cuphead 64. That could be a fun idea. Are you winning, son? Because only you can't tell if this is what you're supposed to do. Yes, you're supposed to shoot yourself at the King Carol <laughs> cardboard pictures. But there's this one, one, one spot where he moves really rapidly and you like can't aim, so that's gonna be tough. Alright, here we go. So now he starts moving rapidly. And shooting at him is hard. Like that. So two laser attacks and then... Okay, which one is the first one? Okay, let's try this. I actually managed to do it. That's cool. <laughs> Urge to backseat. Backseat these nuts. Ah, I wasn't fast enough. Okay, that was more than I expected. So now I can be prepared for that. Ah, uh, no, man. <laughs> I love how Chucky just popped out of the barrel. Alright, so it comes out in order, so... I wasn't fast enough. So laser here. Then laser here, he'll pop out here and he'll pop out here, so I'm gonna try to get this one. Yes! This boss is awful on the Wii because it runs too fast due to the emulation on the Wii. Is that actually r true? Because we talked about this some streams back and people weren't able to provide evidence that the Wii version runs faster. There we go. It's true! <laughs> I've still yet to see actual footage.
There we go. Pfft. The cutscenes in this game are so funny. They just like happen. The last key! It's true, the Wii U version runs faster. Proof the demo that he plays in the main menu on the Wii is desynced. <laughs> Memory service speedrunners run this game in the Wii U virtual console because it's faster, I guess. Let's get the hell out of here. That was a final boss. I hope the final boss is something like, you know, King K. Roll giant shooting lasers going like, I have high hopes for the final boss now. The bosses overall in this game have been really good. A lot better than Panjo Kazooie bosses. They're like actual bosses in this. Especially the dragon and the armadillo. Another thing, the mini game where you have to shoot after the screen flashes dark runs too fast and you have to pause buffer to win it. Oh my god. All right, let's... Hang on. That is uh, Diddy. Diddy door. <coughs> Excuse me. So is there a blueprint guy in the overworld? Or do I gotta go to a level to give out the... Our world blueprint. Oh. Holy fuck! <laughs> oh no! Well, let me guess the gate is closed now. One hundred and eighty eight golden bananas. <clears throat> the Donkey Kong grunt so much. I gotta add... I gotta add... Oh! I gotta add all of them to my soundboard and just spam them. So it's like... <laughs> oh, Incidentally, Diddy Kong is like the one racing game with bosses. First Team Racing also has bosses. But does Diddy Kong have like... Bosses where like, attack them or something? What the hell? Why did I just spawn in nothingness? You know, don't question it with this game. Final key! I, I assume it's the final key. Let's get this disgusting Yokalala character out of the cage now. They feel, no, but they feel more like bosses than C tier ones, which are just good AIs. Ah, I see. Look at that. Now we can enter the mouth. Oh no, one more cage! Or key. Oh well. The 
bosses in Diddy Kong Racing have their own race tracks rather than reuse tracks. Ah. No, I don't want to be here. <laughs> so funny how I just spawned in the air. Alright, let's uh, go to the Banana Fairy Temple and see if we can get like a reward for freeing all the Banana Fairies. At least I assume I found them all. I guess we'll find out. I don't remember what number the pad was, so I'm just gonna swim over there. into the ass of Timo. Here we go. I guess we didn't find everyone yet because this guy is still crying. Oh well. Look at this! The mouth in King Kero's statue has opened. I know this, but it's the final place. I'm gonna finish the overworld before I go there. Kong. Kong. Kong Kong. Awesome camera. So what's this little patch of grass over here? Oh, I see! There's fairies in the overworld as well. Okay. Are you the last? Are you the last? DK Isles. Okay, this place has two fights and four banana fairies. I love old game crusty like weather ambience. Like this one right here. No music. When internet die. So I feel like this is something you can booty blast with Chunky. So that's something I gotta try out. Super Kiwi 64. Oh, that game. Yes. I've heard of that game. Left 4 Dead 2 with mods. <laughs> I've played Left 4 Dead like once in high school. I don't know anything about the game. You will show me the ropes? Well, I'm not going to play it, so you don't have to. Let's see if we can booty blast. 
this thing. Why is Chunky always like screaming? Okay, no, that's <laughs> that's not it. Maybe just stand here and fucking Okay, never mind. Hmm, interesting. Maybe there's a gate underground or something. B4 any. It is. Canonically, Cranky Kong is the DK from the arcades, and the Kongs live on DK Island, but it's sh shaped like regular Donkey Kong, also known as the DK we know today. Maybe Cranky also looked uh, like the DK we know today when he was younger. Let me swim around this rock. Maybe there's something hidden over here. What happens if you swim away? From everything? Is there a scary fish that eats your ass like in Jack and Daxter? You know what Donkey Kong game is based? Donkey Kong Jungle Climber on the DS. Is that the one where Donkey Kong has like big grabby hands? Now that we have uh, every power, let's see if we can finally do something around here. Banana Horde. Why is DK's jungle home located inside a mountain shaped like his head? Yeah, it's the sky is like orange. Is it a fake sky? Fake sky. DK's. Okay, so what's in here? Come up, please. Another pile of shit. One hundred sixty nine coins. Nice. I guess that's nothing. This game teaches you that burping over dirt gives you riches. <laughs> I've done that in real life, it works. Just burp over dirt. You want to eat the jelly corn? <laughs> so is there any Oh, look at that candy poster. Is there anything to be done in this place? What is that? Just a picture of a dolphin? Chungo one at that. Are there any secrets in this place? Oh look, I just noticed! It's the red like uh, building block thing from the arcade games. That's That's really cool. GameCube, GameCube reference? 
The Nintendo Shit Cube reference. Get <laughs> sleep on the banana. <laughs> well, that was fun. Is Candy canonically a model, or does DK just have a custom made pictures of his girlfriend? I guess DK was just like, Can you pose for me? Candy was like, Okay, sure. <laughs> DK took the pictures. Banang. Alright, let's go through all the hub areas next. Those always had something funny. Lanky is fast. There used to be a stop and swap feature planned where a fridge would warp you to crystal caves if you had the ice key. Interesting. But crystal caves is just one of the worlds, right? Or am I mixed up? Alright, let's see. Have we done everything over here? No! Okay, there's something over there. <laughs> Crystal Caves is the ice world here. You fight the second armadildo. So was that originally supposed to be like a secret world or something? Trumpet, uh, Lanky. No, the fridge would warp you to a secluded part of the crystal case with an exclusive golden banana. Wait, what was the point of this? Did we do this already? We must have done this already because otherwise it would have worked. <laughs> Yeah, okay, we did this already. Next! The fridge would world... Oh yeah, the area got repurposed as a regular room in the final game. Oh, I see. Stop and swap is super fascinating. It is! It feels very ahead of its time. Too bad they never, like, uh, got anywhere with that. What? You unironically brought it at an uni exam and you passed with it. Yeah, wait, you you like uh, wrote about it, like an essay or something. I think we did the ice. Already. I'm pretty sure we did. So maybe I should double check. You explained the process of the tech and how it would have worked and why it didn't. Some RAM jargon for computer exam. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Wait, what am I doing? I'm supposed to check the hub areas. So go in this place. I'm 
pretty sure we did this too, though. Yeah. Let's uh, poke Donkey Kong's eyes. Whoa, did you see that? The stone was gone for a moment. And nothing. Let's just double check the Lanky thing. So I think I did this already. Lanky trumpet. Next hub area. Do you think the banana teleporters feel slimy when you use them? Yeah, does it feel like you're like going through a womb? They temporarily enter the banana dimension. Alright, here we go. Why would you say that? Like, <laughs> to them, it must feel like they're going through an endless, like, banana pipe. And it's like... <laughs> Why is every teleporter I talk about a womb-like? Ha hang on a minute! Hang on a minute! What other teleporter have I talked about that's womb-like? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Are you saying this is a regular? This is news to me! This is news to me! This is the first time ever I talk about a womb teleporter! <laughs> In Shadow the Hedgehog you mentioned the weird teleport strings were womb-like. Oh yes, hmm, I did mention that. I think. I'll take your word for it, because I don't remember what I've said during Shadow Streams. Bring up the womb allegations documents! <laughs> oh god! Career over. <laughs> womb brained. Okay, there's a door down here. I want to know where it takes me. You'd like to remind everyone of the Raimani cheating scandal. What's the Raimani cheating scandal? Oh, this guy is here in the overworld. Okay. Okay, we found something new. The womb buffalo is from Crash Cr <laughs> You'd like to remind everyone of the Ramani milk bath area. What the fuck is the You're just making up shit! <laughs> yes. Alright, let's fight. No, we must fight. Yeah. <laughs> 
Do you remember the Rabani plunging incident? <laughs> Splunging! The Romani Blueberry Jam controversy. Oh, that's one I remember. The Blueberry Jam isn't actually colored pink. Called Red Handed. Yes. Big. Called Jam Handed, eh? Hey. Right, let's see what's uh, popping over here. Over here. That's what I need, Kong. Bing, bing. The Lost Robot is Scoop Kick 2 prototype. Oh my god. Okay, Boy. That took ages. That animation was way too long. Why is Bro sniffing his own, like, fingers over there? Alright, it's only DK who's missing the last piece of, uh... The thing. Do we have it? No, we're missing it. All right. Let me blow real quick. You like to remind everyone of when Roy stole a truck filled with raspberry jam. <laughs> it's blueberry jam, I swear. To bonus stage. Oh no. Line up four bananas. Fuck. Oh, fucking shit. Fucking balls, ass. Scratch my ass and suck my balls. Ugh. Ugh. It's gonna be another one of these. These mini games are generally the worst part of the game. Welcome to bonus stage. Here we go. <laughs> Gotta start them young. Mommy, what is that machine called? It looks really funny. I can't stop playing it. Dong. 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 Alright, so this is where Snipe lives, or whoever the fuck is called. Is Roy losing it yet? No, no, I'm doing good. I'm winning. I'm winning. I notice there's a DK button up there. But before we do that, let's go into the sewer systems. Oh, not, not under. Beep. 
<laughs> All right, now here's the deal. Did we get everything in this room already? There's a chunky platform. There's a tiny barrel up there. There's like a sewer pipe. All right. I didn't enter a single wrinkly door during this playthrough. I don't need her stupid crusty tips. The tips are as crusty as she is. Ah, there we go. Okay, this is new. Sometimes I wish, sometimes I hope, the camera would just fucking work! Introducing Jack Black as Chunky Kong. I fucking hate it when they cast these like Hollywood celebrities as these animated characters, like voice actors. They should in instead just act, uh, cast like good voices, you know? Crustiest of the tips. I still can't understand why Chris Pratt was Mario. And Garfield. And the Grinch. And Moomin Papa. And Sherlock Holmes. He was great in Psychonauts 2. Oh yeah, 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 Chris Pratt was also Rasputin from Psychonauts 2. How could I forget? Yeah, and Emmett. <laughs> Jack Black was a great... <laughs> Jack Black was a great Bowser. Well, yeah, okay, I'll give Jack Black some slack because he can actually voice act. You know, he gets the pass, but other than that, Chris Pratt doesn't know how to voice act. Why is he voice acting all these characters? Me. Yeah, Jack has actual range. That is true. He gets the pass. Jim Carrey's robotic is perfect. That is true. But at the same time, I was talking about voice acting animated characters. Not actually acting the role. You will defend Jack Black a little. He has been working as a VA for a long time already, but most Hollywood actors in voice roles are just there because of Studio Mandel star appeal. Yeah, exactly. That's Jack Black gets the... Oh, tiny teleporter. Looks like we gotta go back and change. <laughs> Miyamoto, he's so cool. <laughs> Actual quote. <laughs> Yo, where the fuck is the swap barrel? An actor can be good on screen and in voice role, but they're very different skill sets, and not very many Hollywood stars actually do that as well. Yeah, like Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt doesn't do it well. Chris Pratt sucks. Cringe, cringe, cringe ass. That's his name. He's just fucking talking. He's not like acting. Nice. 
Chris Pratt has gotta have like some dirt on some executives or something. <laughs> Imagine that. Did you know about Forbidden Kong in the Donkey Kong 64 secret area? That's not real and you know it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Look at this tiny! Wait, fucking give it to me! Wait, you had the banana! Give it to me! Oh, there we go. Okay, now we can activate the Chunky at the grass pad. Remember Chunky at the grass pad. Remember Chunky. Face to face to face. Can you go in DK's nostrils in this? That's what I'm wondering. Chunky. You can't 100% this game without getting a banana from Forbidden Cog. <laughs> this fucking Forbidden Cog! <laughs> Oh, now I know what I must do. It's chunking time! Giant banana, let's go get it. Giant banana for giant Kong. Oh, it's actually giant! Oh, banana! Hell yeah. Bana, bana, ooh, bana, 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 ooh, bana, bana, bana. <coughs> <laughs> Let's shoot that one button. That was an accident. Would you guys believe me if I said I was cleaning my freaking joystick and accidentally pressed down and uh, look where that got me. Amazing. Alright, so we checked the underwater place, we checked- did we check the factory area? I think we did. Let's check the ear. And also the mushroom forest area. Hang on. <laughs> I like that. Something was said and then like, yeah, I agree. And another message, I disagree. <laughs> the duality of man. Who would be better actor uh, for Eggman than uh, Jim Carrey? Uh, Sylvester Stallone? Ez? <laughs> I myself really like Jim Carrey Eggman. I do agree a little bit that it's not very Eggman-like, but um, as a separate character, if you want to think that way, I think he's amazing. <sighs> Banana Fari.
Yo, this guy's fucking insane. You don't know who you'd cast as Eggman. You don't actually know a lot about actors or watch a lot of live action movies. But when you see Jim Carrey in Sonic movie, you can't feel, see, or hear anything in Eggman. It's just Jim Carrey doing the stereotypical Jim Carrey thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally get that. Yes, there we go. I should rewatch those movies. I'm gonna rewatch those movies before the third one comes. This is sus. Can I do something about these doors in here? Did you check inside K. Rool's mouth? Not yet. I'm doing every other place first. <sighs> you need to fight the Forbidden Kong. <laughs> I love Forbidden Kong. I went from hating Forbidden Kong to loving Forbidden Kong in three seconds. Did you check the Fungi Forest lobby mushroom buttons? I'm going there next. It's over there, right? No, it was the ear. It was the ear. Yeah, I'm going into the ear. Funny that the fungus grows in the ear. Fungal. Why must you constantly disagree with me? I'm trying to meet you on equal ground. Oh, you mean the, the funky Mystery Kong? I just told you I love Mystery Kong. Okay, here's something new, I think. Oh, I see it. Ah. You weren't talking to me. I see it. I see. I see. You were just in the Fungi Forest lobby. Oh, let me go back there then. Donkey come. Okay, so Fungi Forest was that place that I was just at. So, yeah, it was up, 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 away. And shoot the mushrooms. You still hear Megalovania during the guitar? <laughs> oh, that one! Okay! How did I miss the moving mushroom? And what? Now I gotta... Oh my fucking god, you better just keep going up. Ah! Who gets the banana? Who gets to be the fall guy? That's green. Oh yeah, Knuckle Show! Did that come out yet? When's that coming out? I wanna watch the Knuckle Show. It looks fun. Mm. 
<laughs> I think it's coming out late in April. Oh, okay. Knuckles. And it's a fucking chunky platform. Okay. <laughs> They're releasing Sonic 3 and Knuckles this year. They really love that joke. So what do we do with... Oh, I see. Chunky was born to kill. He trained all his life for this moment. Oh my god! And now he almost fell off. We have all the banana fairies. Maybe we can now. Can someone just answer me? Are there any banana fairies in the mouth level? Or do I have them all now? Let me actually fly there. There's one. Okay. Okay. I guess let's go into King Kairou's mouth. Have a little peek. I think I have everything else on the island. Okay, so Didi is missing one. DK is missing one. Did I enter every hub world? <sighs> Hang on. Creepy castle we did. Crystal caves hub we did. Kungi forest hub we just cleared. Gloomy Galleon. That was underwater, we did that one. Frantic Factory. Yes, there was the level. Angry Aztec, we did. Okay, we have cleared every... Every lobby area, I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry I disappointed you guys. This was not the finale of Donkey Kong 64. But maybe next time will be. Maybe next time finally will be. <laughs> of course it's not the finale. <laughs> next time will be. Next time will be. I promise you this. You haven't even met the Forbidden Cog yet. This quest line is long, but epic. All right, there's the Donkey Kong blueprint. Let's get that right off the bat.
There's also a golden banana over there. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Seinfella. No! S stop being in this mode, Chunky. There we go. Did you give all your blueprints to Cindy? Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to the boss yet. I'm not going to the boss yet. I'm gonna do that next. Because I need to kill this guy. Do it before you enter the final place. Yes, that's uh, what I had in mind. I'm just here to reclaim the bananas and the blueprint. Holy fuck! Oh my god, this fight of the century over here! That was scary! <laughs> Alright, so whose banana is that over there? It must be Tiny, right? Because only Tiny can fly over. Okay, there wasn't a barrel there anymore. I guess it's for Chunky then, because it was only visible when I'm uh, Chunkus. I see, there's a different path of ropes. Nice. Alright, let's see what this is all about then. Okay, this one is relatively easy. Chunky Kong sacrifices himself to <laughs> stop the blast <laughs> <laughs> he falls into the fires of Mordor. Imagine if all these jokes weren't jokes, like, imagine if I've been, like, uh, just obliviously playing this game and Chunky actually dies at the end, like, sacrifices himself, and everyone's just joking about it and I don't know it. <laughs> sure, I guess that's his death. He fell into the fires of Mordor. Alright, let's go take that blueprint to Snid. <laughs> yeah, it's really sad. <laughs> okay, but where's Diddy Kong's final uh, golden banana from the overworld? Does anyone, like, remember off the top of their heads? Donkey Kong just walking in. Yeah. Yeah. Last banana. I'm actually gonna look it up.
Mm. Okay, I think I know where the final one is. So, what is this? Should I do this now? Bonus? What is this? Welcome to bonus stage. I'm not gonna fucking play this. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is just a bonus, right? Mission complete, Kong. Let's deal with K. Rool now. So you can just replay all the bonus levels you want. Alright, let's go get that final Didems. I know where it is now. Final Didulum. You were scared for a moment? Yeah, that's just bonus. You don't actually have to beat those. Right. Where's the beaver emote? You don't? Oh, thank god. <laughs> Which one am I missing then? Oh, it's there! Okay, I thought it. Okay, let's go. This the one. Welcome to bonus day. Peril path panic. PPP. Oh my God! The fairy got eaten. I like how the fairies scream when they die. Nice. Alright, that's everything! Except banana fairies. I guess we're missing one banana fairy. Let... Oh. Don't forget the nana. Yes! 200 golden bananas! I guess there's still more, but... You know... Let me double check. Just to be safe. It's the Bunda percent! It's real! Alright, quick check here and then I'll uh, go to the level and save there so I won't forget. Look at the save file before you end the stream. From the main menu? Alright, I'm gonna do that. Still crying? Yeah, still crying. Okay, so there is one more left. Let me go to the level. gonna save state there and uh, hell yeah check the save file
All right, I'm gonna save right here. First come the save state. Then I quit the game. Take a look at the thing in the main menu. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, this is just the... where he shoots the island. Yeah, 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 take it to the fridge. Ninety-seven percent. I guess next time we will reach one hundred. And uh, what's the max percentage? Is it like one hundred and ten? One hundred and two? <laughs> 101 all right next time it will be the finale of donkey kong 64 i promise you guys that next time will be the end 101 percent donkey kong 64 here i come thank you for watching this one it will return